Good morning and welcome to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. I do appreciate you tuning in this glorious Monday, April 9th. Thanks very much. I do have guests today. We're going to be talking about the Salem Community Theater annual fundraiser coming up a week from Saturday. So uh, make your plans and we'll tell you all the good things that are going to be uh, occurring on that, uh, that Saturday. I've got along with uh, me beside me, Meredith Fike as well as John Spicer. He's the entertainment that evening, and we'll uh, talk with those folks throughout the course of this morning. Again, uh, this is Monday, April 9th. Mill Shoals and Community Breakfast is today. Actually, it's right now, if uh, you're watching down in Fairfield. Menus, bacon, sausage, hash browns, scrambled eggs, biscuits and gravy, and a drink. And the cost is by donation. You might want to try to do with that. Serving has already started, and everyone is welcome. What else is going on today? Well, at the uh, Clay County Hospital, it's the uh, CCH Auxiliary Sensi and Kettle Corn Fundraiser. The uh, Clay County Auxiliary uh, has that fundraiser today starting right now at 9 a.m. through 4 p.m. And you might want to stop by. This is at the hospital conference room. All proceeds do benefit the Clay, Ca Clay County Hospital Auxiliary. What else today? How about the only area diabetic support group meeting? That'll be at the Richland Memorial Hospital. And that is at 2 p.m. today. Other things going on around the area to keep you busy? How about the uh, Diabetes Support Group at St. Anthony's Convenient Care? Monday after a holiday, a week after a holiday with a bunch of candy must be the time for uh, diabetic support groups, that's for sure. As uh, That will be at 5.30 today at St. Anthony's Care, Convenient Care in Effingham. Uh, let's see. What to watch on television tonight? Uh, as, of course, you are watching us on Wabash Catch TV in Salem. It's on Channel 3 here in Flora. We're on Channel 100, also on Channel 25. All kinds of different things to watch tonight, but basically for me, the, only, the main thing will be sports. Uh, DC's Legends of Tomorrow wrapping up their third season. I don't watch Legends of Tomorrow, but it's on the CW. You may, uh, your kids, you or your kids, or if you're one of the kids, you might really enjoy that. As uh, Apparently, there's a storyline involving a telepathic gorilla. And former President Barack Obama. That sounds like a dandy. Also tonight, uh, The Terror is on. That'll be on AMC as well as Unreal on Lifetime. But the thing to uh, watch is probably the Cardinals taking on the Brewers. That's on tonight at 6 p.m. And that's going to be on uh, Fox Sports Midwest. I think maybe on ESPN too. They may have some blackout re rules involved there. Of course, uh, we'll find out today... If uh, Yadier Molina is going to have to face any fines or suspension for maybe shoving an umpire yesterday, poor old Yadi. Uh, I think John's probably got it. You've got a. Mm. You, you're you're wondering about this. Did you see it yesterday? I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll talk about. It. We'll probably talk about that here in a minute. Yadi shoved an umpire yesterday, and uh, yeah, you really can't do that. But you can't do what. That got Yachty so ticked off either. So we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that tonight. Also, keep an eye on Channel 100 here in Florida. It's the uh, Sisney Running Lions baseball team. I think they're taking on Sandoval today. I'll be there, and we'll bring you that game at around 4 o'clock today. So do uh, keep an eye out. That'll be on Channel 100. All kinds of good things coming up for you today and again uh, this morning i've got uh, guests in here it's meredith fike along with john spicer and we're going to talk all about the upcoming clay county how about salem <laughs> salem community theater fundraiser coming up on april 21st we'll be back in just a tick heritage woods of flora offers cozy private apartments and personalized service plans for active seniors our affordable assisted lifestyle includes three meals every day, assistance with chores and medications, and a full calendar of social activities. At Heritage Woods, you can visit with friends, enjoy an evening of music, or play an afternoon of wee bowling, all without leaving your home. We even have a beauty shop in-house. For more information, stop by 1003 West 4th Street or call Valerie at 618-662-4599. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. 
Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. My name is Rose. Smoking caused my lung cancer. I was on chemo and radiation. They took part of my lung out, and they put this in me to drain the fluid. Every day I prayed that they would remove it. My tip is be careful what you wish for. That chest tube hurt a lot more coming out than it did going in. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m., and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Welcome back. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm Bruce Dickey, and uh, let's, I've got good sets of guests today. Let's uh, introduce them to you here. As uh, to my immediate right, it is uh, Meredith Fye. Good morning, Meredith. How are you? Welcome to, to the show. Appreciate Thank you. you coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, next to her is Mr. John Spicer. How are you doing, John? I'm doing just fine, Bruce. How are you, buddy? I'm all right. Thanks very much for coming on. You folks who came over from Salem, and, and that's the cool part, is that you've got a huge deal coming up next Saturday at the Salem Community Theater. I have never been inside the theater. Oh, I saw the look. She's just, you're flabbergasted. <laughs> But I didn't know how, I had no idea how active a theater uh, program you folks have over there. What's going on? Tell me all about it. Well, we started about the year 2000. This theater was built in the 30s. Okay. And it is Egyptian Art Deco. Oh, really? We are the gateway to Little Egypt. In sure, Salem, you know. sure. So it's, and it's a, four, seats 400. Right. It has wonderful acoustics. It's just a great little house. And it was a movie theater until... Um, about 2000, when the Carasotis decided to give it to the city for a dollar. That's nice of them. So the city then decided that let's figure out if we can use it. Yeah. So they did a whole a lot of research, and we decided to open it up like that. So okay, so community theater now. You've been running then. Uh, do you still run any movies ever in it from time to we time? We have got. We do do movies now. At first we couldn't because the Carasotis wouldn't let us, but now really? we can show movies that are two years old. How long of a... Um, how long of an agreement did Carasotis have on it where you couldn't show movies? Well, 
it just they went out of business so yeah. we knew that <laughs> okay so also when, when carisota says when they uh, screwed the pooch they were there it was done and yeah, you can do yeah, whatever so you we want can do what we want to yeah well, that's good so we show those movies and it's by donation mm -hmm. at the theater we had a league of their own last friday we've done you know Old older movies, right? You get uh, good crowds for, for the movies occasionally. It's anything from ten to one hundred and fifty. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. You just just kind of depends on know. what the weather is, what the mood is of the folks. Never know. How the how the League of Our Own do? Mm, okay. We well. The funny thing about League of Our Own was that we couldn't get it to play. Oh, and really? finally, when we did, it was in French. <laughs> now, you can just nice. picture it. Nice. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it was so funny. it's in French. Did it have yeah. a, subtitles at least? No. Well, it did. But, you know, everybody's going, what? <laughs> so we finally try, We finally got her going. <laughs> I got to know. I got to know how we uh, uh, say there's no crying in baseball in yeah. French. <laughs> But so anyway, the theater was built back then, and it was a movie theater okay. until 2000 when we started doing these shows. Right. Well, there is n there are no facilities backstage. I see. So and by <clears throat> backstage, no facilities backstage. You're talking like where the actors and uh, the performers get ready. Right. No dressing rooms. No bathrooms. Nothing. So if you're backstage, and for instance, it's intermission, right. you can come around and go into. We have we have bathrooms up in the lobby sure but you can come around during the show because nobody's out there but if it's intermission they get to go next door to the firehouse and is that right yes yes so we have to tell the firehouse people that they may have dracula coming over <laughs> or several nuns or whatever uh, depending to do their business i see yes i see so it's the so, sound of yeah. sound so, of music you might have a few nuns coming over yes, after the first and, act and when we do yes and when we do the missoula children's theater you've got 60 kids back there and when you get nervous you know you have to go potty well yes uh, yeah uh, so the anyway, children will yes, do that right. uh, happens to me every time i get on stage. I, know, right? <laughs> I, was, yeah, I was gonna ask if that happens yeah, to you on right. stage yeah so uh you know it's pretty necessary and and the fire hop, the firemen have been very nice to us with that so we are building a dressing room back bathrooms and a build a stage also you don't know how much space you need to build sets okay so it's a set building area and it is 25 foot back and uh, the whole length of the building i can't remember how long it is but, but you're telling me you have a, a particular focus for this particular fundraiser coming up next saturday yes, yes that's what it's which for. is to build well, restroom we, facilities for the performers we we have the money to build it Okay. It's just finishing it. It's going to be unfinished. We oh, gotta I see. do we have to do drywalling, painting, yeah. toilets. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, finishing a restroom, right, yeah, that's right. a that's an yeah. undertaking, yeah. especially when you're dealing with the uh, with the requirements of yeah. codes and that codes and ADA yeah. and that kind so of stuff. So the the goal of this fundraiser is to get start getting the money together for that. Um, tell me, you said you had a story about uh, the the occasional odd assistance at the firehouse. How, what you said you had a particular story on the, the heading over to the firehouse, having to take somebody over to the firehouse for a bathroom. Um, I thought you did. I don't know what that was. <laughs> no, it's all right. The the nuns and the and the pre. I oh, think, yeah, right. Yeah, the, 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 that was yeah. It. yeah right. Well, that's uh, yeah. I I could probably become. Uh, well, you know, the fire the firemen are always very happy to see They're you folks. They're very nice. Though, right? They're very nice. Well, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all you can ask. Uh, so <clears throat> this this fundraiser it's uh, sponsored by Modern Woodmen of America. Mm -hmm. uh, they they're a big help to you, aren't they? Tell yes. me a little bit about how they. How they help you? They folks will out. match up to twenty five hundred dollars of our profit off of this. Oh, event. really? Mm -hmm. And uh, what are the, where can folks sign tickets? The tickets are available at Salem City Hall, Salem Travel. Any, I have them right now. You have you want, some. You want to buy? Yes. Okay. Yes. And Good to know. Uh, at the theater office. Saturday, the uh, that'll be next it's a week the from 21st, Saturday. Twenty first, a okay. week from Saturday, and they are twenty five dollars, and that includes John mm -hmm. and his performance and Ben Nation and uh, one drink. One beverage. What's the uh, what's the beverage? Any beverage you want. Oh, okay. Well, that's no. good. I thought you had no. like a special summer, no. maybe a special be outstanding summer beverage to. We have. We'll have a bar set up and oh, we that's have great. snacks and stuff. Yeah. Um, do you have the bar during the whenever the theater, whenever it's a movie theater? No, we haven't got that yet. We've just got it for that one event so oh, far. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Uh, what's the uh, 
tell me a little bit about the uh, the uh, uh, public recognition or how how the, the folks that really enjoy do they uh, grab it and accept with acceptance all your your plays that you put on or tell me a little bit about about well, some of the history in, of the theater in the theater there are what they call um, butts and seats shows like Oklahoma right. South Pacific and those yeah. shows other shows are more for education the modern musicals that come along. Um, that people aren't aware of right. and they're harder to get in there. Um, so we we do a combination of education and entertainment. Okay. Uh, and over the course of a season, you that's it's pretty uh, – that's quite ambitious. You're doing four shows a year, right? Mm-hmm. And you, what, how, what's coming up first? What's the uh, first show? That's Just you? Desserts, okay. which is a straight play that – we are also serving uh, dessert and coffee at intermission. Well, based, that'll be fun. Based on, it's a dessert contest, so they mention the desserts. So we will then serve those desserts at intermission. Nice. And, uh, what, are, uh, what are the desserts? I are, don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream? I'm probably not. It melts. <laughs> so I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> well, ice cream could be kind of tough. Uh, tell me a little bit about what got you into theater. How Are, are you a theater nut? I mean, what uh, what has uh, driven Meredith Fox? I have the Sirius Radio Broadway station in my car playing all the time. Oh, I'm that right. much nice. of a nut. Yes, nice. Right. I love theater. Okay. Yeah. And I, I grew up. Uh, in St. Louis taking dancing lessons mm-hmm. and uh, was at Muni Opera for four seasons in the early 60s. Oh, that's good. Met my husband, went to New York, and decided I really liked to eat and got out of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Dancers <laughs> dancers, and eating don't really work out well, all that well. there was money, too. Well, that's well, true. There was money, too. And, and then I married him, and he was in the theater in New York, yeah. and he grew up in, in Salem. What's your favorite pro- – what was your favorite production, dancing? Mine? Yeah. Well, I can say – John and I have both been in theater as well, but we haven't been doing all that much dancing mm-hmm. if you look at us. No. Probably The Music Man. Really? Yeah, probably. What'd you play? I just think yeah, in, in the chorus. chorus. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, The Music Man. West Side Story. We did all of those. It was the early 60s when all those shows had. When they were still new? Broadway. Yeah, right. That was, you know, 50 some odd years. I didn't, I wasn't going to count. Mm-hmm. Did you, uh, have you been enjoying the, over the past year, they, uh, I don't know if you even saw it in the, in the Post Dispatch, they had the uh, 100 Years of the Muni series. Going. I had a friend, I have a friend in there. I was, I was at Muni Opera in 61 when the first black girl was in oh, the really? dancing chorus. Nice. And it went into that with, Palija Wren was her name. Oh, okay. Yeah, very interesting. It was well. That was what I thought. I thought the series w- was. Oh, interesting. it was wonderful, did and you? it talked about how they developed over the years. I was there when they did eleven shows a season. Back they used to. You see, now it's only six, that. right? Now it's six, and yeah. they don't produce them locally. They are brought. Well, they they do it locally, they're but they don't traveling. have a chorus. We had, um, you know, a huge singing chorus and a huge dancing chorus there, who did every single show. Wow. That must, that's just a different time, isn't it? Yeah. What happened to? Uh, is it was it a? Why did why did uh, theaters quit doing that? Uh, municipal theater or is it, is it a lack of uh, funds? Was it a lack of um, directors? Lack of talent? Well, lack well, of people coming to the theater. Probably. Oh, really? If they stopped doing. The, Muni Opera started in 1918 with with all those really old musicals that were very good for that stage. Right. And then you got so you got Gypsy coming along and those other yeah. smaller ones that didn't fit the stage and they ran into that kind of thing. I I'll think, be done. You know. So then, they, but that article taught taught you how they changed and they tried to bring in other things and then they went back to producing more musicals. Now, okay, so how difficult is it then for the Salem Community Theater to be able to uh, put on a musical the size of, say, Music Man, uh, that, that would be a pretty hard undertaking. You have to cut it down a bit. And yeah. also, the problem is you don't have the dancers locally. Well, yeah. I guess that uh, that's that's true. I'm talking here with John Spicer along with Meredith Fike. We're talking about all kinds of different things here on the Big Talk Show with Bruce Dickey, and we'll be right back. We're going to talk more with John probably a little bit as well, as well as this this musical theater is just fascinating to me. I appreciate you being here. I've got Meredith Fike again along with John Spicer, and we'll be right back with more Big Talk with Bruce Dickey after these. 
It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. Clay County Hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Heritage Woods of Flora offers cozy private apartments and personalized service plans for active seniors. Our affordable assisted lifestyle includes three meals every day, assistance with chores and medications, and a full calendar of social activities. At Heritage Woods you can visit with friends, enjoy an evening of music, or play an afternoon of wee bowling, all without leaving your home. We even have a beauty shop in-house. For more information, stop by 1003 West 4th Street or call Valerie at 618-662-4599. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked, and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Thanks very much for joining us. I'm Bruce Dickey. You're watching on Wabash Catch TV as well as uh, well in, as well as on YouTube right now. We are hot on YouTube right now. That's cool. And uh, my guests today are Meredith Fike. She's with the Salem Community Theater along with uh, John Spicer. He's an uh, entertainer out of Salem. Well, out of Patoka. He's corrected me twice. And I, I got to get go. it right. It's there Patoka. And uh, he's uh, apparently a Cardinal fan, which is cool too. Mm -hmm. Did you go to uh, buy that ticket or buy that uh, hat when you were there? That yeah, day? Was funny. that Memorial Day game? My friend, a uh, very good friend of mine, Vince Myers, he called me one day. And he was so excited. His wife had bought him this hat. Nice. It's a gorgeous hat. And he, he, uh, he's like, man, I can't wait. You know, she sent me a picture of it. I can't wait to get home and see it. And he got home, and it was way too big. And I've got <laughs> the biggest head anybody's ever seen. I'm guessing week. eight. Is it, that like It is exactly an eight. Yeah. It's exactly yeah. an eight. And, and he called me. He's like, it's too big. And I was like, oh, man, that stinks. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> that's too Darn, bad. what are you going to do now? You know? So he gave me the hat. But. Well, that's cool. Uh, John's a, a guitar player, a country a musician, a, a banjo player. We're talking about all kinds of different things. And, John, tell me how she got you into doing this fundraiser. Again, the fundraiser is the 21st of April at the Salem Community Theater. 25 bucks a ticket, and they're available all over Salem, right? Yeah. Where, how, how'd she get hold of you? Uh, she cornered me at Village Garden in Salem. Uh, she had a gun. <laughs> um, no. Um, I, a funny thing, I've, I've done a couple shows at the theater. Uh-huh. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a... Um, um, what is the proper the term here? I don't want to offend anybody. Is it? I don't I'm not a theater, theater guy. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not, not a theater not guy. A theater Plays theater musicals, right. not that right. sort of thing. The right. first thing you did was the Marion County Fair talent show. Yeah. that you won. Yeah, yeah. I, I did the the Marion County Fair talent show. I, I was, was that, and that was, was at the theater. He was ten. At yeah. age of ten. Ten, I guess. So, yeah. so now yeah, that you, I, I how many times have you won that show? Um, I just, just the one year. So you never? Did you ever go back, or did you? No well, kidding. I did that. I, we did that show, and then we went to Springfield, and I think I got third place in state or something like that. You know? Playing the banjo, banjo. at age yeah, ten. Yes. Banjo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's just fascinating. So she gets a hold of you, and what kind of tell everybody what your group consists of, and what uh, what you're going to be, what the show will consist of. Yeah. Well, first of all, um, you know Meredith is good friends with my guitar player and his wife, okay. Doug, Doug and Brandy Drinkpole, and uh, I've I, we've known each other kind of intermittently over the years but we've recently gotten much closer since you know that relationship is has uh you know we've kind of made that mutual friend and um i've always loved the theater yeah i've always loved anything arts related is is great in my opinion right. whether i go and act or you know whatever yeah. it's all fantastic sure um, so when, when Meredith came and asked us if we would like to be a part of the evening, I mean, we just, we absolutely just could immediately. Not. Yeah. It was no brainer. I'm in, what do we need to do? Right. Um, and you know, my guys were the exact same way. They're all, you know, very passionate about keeping performing arts alive and, and, you know, keeping it in, especially in small communities. Absolutely. You know, because that's, that's where your the, the best seeds get planted in, in the, well, there you go. That's and, where your future folks are going to come from. You know, yeah. Um, but as far as my group, um, I play guitar, um, sing lead vocals. I've got another guitarist named Doug Drinkpool. He uh-huh. sings some lead vocals, background vocals, uh, plays lead rhythm guitar. Uh, Adam Birch plays bass for me. Uh, he sings background. Where are the folks well. from? Uh, Doug is from Salem. Okay. Adam is from Effingham. Okay. Uh, my keyboard player, Nick Suedo, is from uh, St. Louis. Okay. Um, he might live in O'Fallon now. It's over, it all gets blurry. That direction. Yeah, once you get past Carlisle, it's all blurry to me. Well, actually, you know, uh, that's the thing. Is he in O'Fallon, Illinois, or O'Fallon, Missouri? Because I, mean, so, I think it's O'Fallon, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot closer. Yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. Um, but he, you know, he sings lead, plays keyboard. Um, he's, a, he's a great guitarist as well. You know, we, we, he played mandolin. We did our bluegrass set. You mm. know, they're, um, they're all very multi-talented guys. Um, and then Dave Wiedenhofer. Um, plays drums and percussion for me. He's he, from. He lives in Patoka. He's originally a, a Nashville, Illinois native. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, he lives in Patoka now. See now, and this is fascinating to me, uh, John. I'm uh, that you are able to uh, uh, live in Patoka and be a professional musician. You, this is what you do for a living, isn't it? That's well, I, so cool. He's played other. Places. Well, I understand. I, I wouldn't necessarily call myself. A, I don't know if I'm a professional yet or not. Well, are, do you have um, another job? No. Then you're no, a professional okay, musician. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I still feel like a big kid at heart. You know, and, I, and I'm waiting for somebody to come come in and like like pull the plug on the whole thing. Really? Like, okay, kid, you've had enough. Like you know, <laughs> like somebody's playing a big joke on me. Like I get to do this for a living. You know? Yeah. Uh, what kind of a set were you are you going to play? I mean, at what uh, length? Um, uh, we've be, got. Um, is I this believe, the four hour the four hour Led Zeppelin style uh, show. Or? We, we do those. We do, do, you? do those. Yeah. Um, we didn't want to bore everybody to death. Um, you play mountain and, like yeah, thirty yeah, minute yeah, songs. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah, you know, uh, green grass. And yeah, high like, tide. yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, uh, but no, we've got. Uh, I believe we've got about an hour and a half block, maybe hour and forty five. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to do two 45-minute sets, maybe take a 15, 20-minute break in between because, you know, like they said, they're going to be serving alcohol and little snacks sure. and things like that. And Silent um, auction, I presume you haven't any auction type we're of stuff? We're going to have 50-50. 50-50, no. okay. No, um, and, you know, we like to get down and you know, we're not – and the, the really good thing is all of my guys, they, they all understand – 
every aspect of what it takes to, to be successful in the How industry do you mean? that we're in. It, you know, we get up on stage, they rehearse, they know their parts, sure. they, they play their butts off, they yeah. sing amazingly, yeah. and we get done, and they go talk to the people. Oh, really? You know, they don't seclude themselves or go backstage and hide in the dressing room. Or well, see, now that, you're right. Yes. I hadn't really considered that. That's got to be a main part of a touring professional in, in 2018 it absolutely is and and the funny thing is it's like you know especially if you're out of town out of state wherever if you're on the road playing for somebody right and you go out to the to a you know you're playing at, at jim bob's bar yeah and you go in there and you play and you play really well and then you get off the stage and you're cool these they're going to remember you and folks will, folks will come you back know, to see you again exactly you know and they'll keep in touch with you they'll follow the, and that's how you you build the grassroots kind of snowball that you know keeps getting bigger and bigger you know and, and the thing is i'm i'm assuming and you, you make the point that that's you know that's kind of part of the gig kind of part of what you do but it's also a, a good part of it i mean it's a lot of fun oh, it's, meeting it's these people it's an absolute blast to, to go out and, and you know to see all the different kinds of people that you get to see in the world and um, like I, I lived in Los Angeles for five years mm -hmm. and I walked around looking like this yeah you know uh, everybody are you from Texas you know because I, I I guess I've got a little bit of a southern accent I don't know but you know, I, I thought I had much no. more of one from when, no. I, you know, when I lived in Los Angeles I gotta tell you uh, whenever I'm uh, uh, whenever I went to school in Champaign and or when I go to uh -huh. Chicago that kind of thing yeah. uh, I'm from Fairfield lived there all my life and they'll ask me boy I tell you what what part of Alabama are you from <laughs> <laughs> you're from Fairfield yeah uh, how often do you eat classic? Oh, all the time. Steve Brake? Mm -hmm. You know Steve? I don't know Steve, but I know the pizza there. <laughs> <laughs> I get there as often as I can. I get there yeah, as um, well. I do some recording at a studio in, in uh, Orchardville. Lost Recording Studios, Pat Schwartz, by the way. Great, great facility for any um, local bands looking to find a place to record. Um, he, uh, we, we were out there recording one day, and he, he decided, he's like, you want some pizza? And I was like, man, we're like, Right in the middle of nowhere. Where's yeah, the pizza? Yeah. You know? We'll go to Fairfield. We'll go to the classic. Is oh, it, it's cool. called the classic, I believe. The classic pizza and pasta. The classic pizza and pasta, yeah. yeah. Um, that's like, pretty good. He's like, we'll go to the classic. And I said, okay. So we walk in, and and he was like, they got a fettuccine Alfredo pizza. And I was like, are you? He's like, what? <laughs> what was let's, that? let's try one of those. You know, we might as well. <laughs> that sounds um, good. Re really, really. Well, that's cool. So, um, you're uh, you you've got an opening act on the, at the uh, fundraiser, right? Our good buddy Ben Nation is coming out, and uh, you know, in support of us, and and in support of the theater, and in support of himself, and uh, Ben will be mainly an acoustic show, I guess. So yeah, he's by himself. Ben's going to be playing acoustic. Um, he does a lot of cover tunes. Um, I think uh, he's actually in the process of he just put a new band together, uh -huh. and uh, you know, he's going to be writing some original material, and and uh, you know, I've. Uh, I don't want to act like I've been Papa Bear for Ben or anything, but I've you know I've I've kind of watched him yeah. as when he started. He, he's always been playing probably sure. for two or three years, and I mean oh, really? the kid is already very very successful. Well, I mean yeah. he's he's a ridiculous talent. That's great. Um, but you know he's he's just putting the band together, and and you know I like to call and talk to him every now and then and just kind of see how things are going and and you know just just sort of uh, pick his brain about what he's doing and and try to stop him from making maybe some of the mistakes that i made well that's helpful that, that's incredibly helpful because um because uh, yeah the, any step up like that is, is yeah outstanding uh and he, de and he deserves it because he's he's a talented kid and he's and he's a good person. That's wonderful. You know? We're talking about the Salem Community Theater and Cultural Center annual fundraiser. It's coming up on April 21st at 7 p.m. The doors are open at six. They will have cash bar available, so you can go early and and uh, maybe have a, a, a cocktail or two before you go in to watch the show. Uh, it's sponsored by Modern Woodman America, and you can find tickets at the theater box office. What's the hours? Ten to two each day. No. Oh, they vary. Just it's depends on like when somebody's there. To two Monday and Wednesday and Friday from three to five and Saturday. Nobody can remember that. Just go to City Hall or call. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. City Hall's going to have tickets. City Hall. Well, City Hall's right next to the theater anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a great City Hall, but I've never been to Salem City Hall until last week. Oh, I'm glad week you before. went. Yeah, it's a, they're the renovating. 
Well, I did miss the theater. I missed the theater by just a second. She's not going to let you live that She's way. not going to let me live up to that. I tell you what, it's, uh, I, I'm just glad she's here. I've got Meredith Fike here along with John Spicer. We're talking about that fundraiser, and we'll be back to talk quite a bit more about it when we do return. I also want to get into uh, with John about uh, his the style of music they play, and we're going to talk maybe a little bit more nuts and bolts country music. Is that all going to be okay with you, John? Sure. All right, that sounds good. We'll be back here on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey after these messages. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. I'm dead. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. My name is Brett and I used to smoke. I quit, but not until I got a serious gum disease. My tip to you is, your smile says a lot about you. What does this say? Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m., and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Heritage Woods of Flora offers cozy private apartments and personalized service plans for active seniors. Our affordable assisted lifestyle includes three meals every day, assistance with chores and medications, and a full calendar of social activities. At Heritage Woods, you can visit with friends, enjoy an evening of music, or play an afternoon of wee bowling, all without leaving your home. We even have a beauty shop in-house. For more information, stop by 1003 West 4th Street or call Valerie at 618-662-4599. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I am Bruce Dickey alongside uh, John Spicer down there and Meredith Fike right here from Salem, Illinois. They are... Uh, promoting the annual fundraiser for the Salem Community Theater. They need to build facilities for the actors and performers. I, I can understand that. that, that 
I've done plays, man. Yeah, you've got to have a place to get dressed. That's exactly right. And uh, we're talking about with them about that as well as this fundraiser coming up again on April 21st at 7 o'clock, and it will be at the Salem Community Theater and Cultural Center. All right, uh, John, tell me a little. You're becoming more and more successful in this little country fund business, aren't you? Uh, thankfully. And first of all, i got to say, you just did something very funny when you did what I did. this. You like pointed at me when you said John, and you, you pointed at her when you said Mary, like as if they were gonna mix. The two. <laughs> <laughs> My name's John. <laughs> you never know. I'm sorry. I, I that was you never know. Uh, um, you, it's you, things like this that's that are keeping me from becoming a huge star. Bro. Oh, I'm I mean, keeping you. Oh, you know. well, you're being mistaken for Meredith is keeping you from. <laughs> no, because, no, because I call I call people out on things like that. You know? <laughs> no, that's yeah. fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, uh, you're doing. You're playing Heronfest again this year. We said. are playing Heronfest again this year. We're we're so excited. We we love the folks down there, and it was we played last year for uh, open for Gary Allen, and that's over Memorial Day weekend, right? I believe so. Mate, we're we're playing May. 25th yeah that's Memorial Day weekend eight o'clock I believe okay um, I'd have to check again but um, just come at like five o'clock like everybody else well yeah that's the thing yeah. Yeah. Um, 10,000 people there yeah p.m. p.m. Yeah. p.m. Um, where do they set that up in here is it all is it all that main drag I gotta be honest with you we took our little uh, we bought we bought a, this is actually very funny uh, we bought a little church shuttle bus. Okay. And that's how kind of how when we've got big shows, you know, that's our big uh, the, It's your together. electric Kool-Aid uh, bus going yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Um, so, we, you know, it's it's always funny pulling into the bars and stuff, you know, or leaving the bar at night at yeah. 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know, Salem First Baptist Church. Yeah. Out of the bus, you yeah, know, I like it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, great. It's, it's, it's pretty comical. But um, at any rate, you know, we, we took the bus down there last year, and I had a million things going through my head. And. Um, well, it was your first time to play it last year. Yeah, and, yeah. And this is not a small gig, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, this that's a that's a, Salem. I tell you what, Salem Community Theater is fortunate to get a guy that can pull a gig like this. You should be very happy. Oh, we, you know, like I said, we 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 would, you know, we we'd do this gig every night if we could. Okay, so you're driving into Salem, or you're driving into Heron. Heron. Sorry, we yeah, we're driving into Heron. Um, we we had a sound check at uh, to you know you know how that stuff works. scheduled. Sure, um, we we get in there and. It's it's funny because we're all like, yeah, we're we're so You're pumped, fired up. And, you know, we're, we're be great. ready to go. And we get yeah. there, I'm like, I forgot my guitar slide, but don't say anything because I don't want to freak anybody yeah. out. And I look over my keyboard players, like I forgot my keyboard stand, and like everybody, everything's just falling apart. And, um, you know, it's just the nerves and the jitters and, and everything. But it, it's funny because that happens, and like the, the nerves build up and the butterflies keep going, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. And then we've got Wes Bennett on on the stage, and he's announcing us, and ladies and gentlemen, the John Spicer and the fighting side. And then all of a sudden, it's just like you flip a switch and you become a different person for a right. little bit. You know, and then you get up, you get up on stage, you do your thing, and then you get off stage, and then you flip that switch again. You're like, "Oh my God, what just happened?" Like, and it's over. Yeah, it's over. Thank and, heavens, and, that's and, over. And it, and it happens so fast, and you can't remember anything that happened until like the next day. And it's it's uh, adrenaline junkies should become musicians. You know, just just for that simple fact. You know, walking yeah. walking out on stage and seeing. 12,000 people and they're like okay we're here to see you entertain me yeah that's right that's right <laughs> you know sh prove to me that you're worth the money i just spent right you know? so it's it's uh it's a bit of a nerve-wracking thing but that's the, the kind of little bit of fire and 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 uh, i guess the uh the uh, boost of energy probably it, it's the boost of energy but it's like it's that, that little form of intimidation that you know you kind of need to to have about this ghost that you're chasing as a musician trying well, to now that you've played si the uh, crowds that size mm -hmm. does it affect how you approach a smaller crowd or i mean you've you got butterflies every time before you go on stage don't you yeah um and it's funny because i i think when they stop i'm gonna quit doing it yeah um because it's that little bit of excitement that you chase like i was right. saying yeah but, um you know, it's more nerve wracking for me. Like if, if 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 I were to have my guitar right here, I would be, you know, petrified. Right. Because it's such a, a more intimate yeah. thing. Yeah, you're you're trying to prove you, know, you can play to just two people. Yeah, you know. Um and I guess petrified's not the word, you know, because I've I've played for anxious. Two people. How about that? Yeah, anxious. anxious, uh, you know, overthinking everything, yeah. you know, just because it is such an intimate 
uh, setting, you know, when you get on stage at Heronfest, there's there's reverb and, and and delays, and you know, guitars are really loud, yeah. and it's yeah. like, oh man, I, I might. Well, you had twelve thousand people. You mm-hmm. got to have well, that takes a little different equipment mm-hmm. to uh, be able to for those folks to hear you. Yeah. Uh, tell me what the kind of music uh, will uh, John Spicer and the Fight Inside play. Um. What do? How do you classify? I don't want to be yourself. that guy that's. You know, you're not gonna. You don't want to put yourself in a box. Don't put attitude. baby in a box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's funny because we've got a very eclectic group. You know, like I said, we've got a, I've got a a, a rock guitarist, a, a rock drummer, a southern rocker, a bass player, a, a, a jazz keyboard player, mm-hmm. and I. You know, I come from very traditional country and bluegrass background, but. When I pick up a guitar, I become a blues guitar player. You right. know, where I, you know, that's kind of where I live. And like Stevie Ray Vaughan is my, you know, he's yeah, he's Godhead for me. He's the guy. Um, and uh, Merle Haggard on the songwriting and singing side, and as a musician as well. A lot of people don't know he's a fantastic musician. Uh, which, by the way, a couple of days ago was his uh, two year. Would have been 80, 82? 80, I believe so. He died yeah. on his birthday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and let me miss him. Yeah. Um, but yes, it, you know, it's it's funny because we've got all these different little influences and it's like we're throwing it all in a pot and making this big soup. That's out, really cool. You know, um, and we've all got sort of a common goal in mind, but it's kind of like our studio process. You know, I told the guys, some of them were asking, like, you know, can you give me a, you know, we're going to record guitars at two or we're going to do this at five or we're going to, and I'm like, no, because it, you know, that, that creates like, urgency and yeah you end up settling for things that you wouldn't have had to if you just said let's go make music let's let's crash out here for a weekend let's keep it simple exactly yeah you know and and let's just go out here and make some good sounding music you know and that's one thing that i've learned as i you know as i've traveled the world and <laughs> outside uh, of salem <laughs> outside of patoka uh, you know in my in my many many years of of uh you know being a young troubadour Trying to uh, you know traverse the I'm gonna stop you know I just um, stop whatever good. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you're having fun yeah I, I'm having a blast but the thing that I've I've noticed is that you know I used to get bent out of shape over um, you know the new country not being you not being real country or this or that right you know, not being traditional you know, I, I I just kind of came to the realization that there's only two kinds of music good and bad yeah and I get to decide and you get to decide and you get to decide that's true for yourself you know so if, if you like it and it makes you happy I mean I can't get mad at those guys for putting food on their table and feeding their families yeah and, and somebody likes it and somebody loves it you know and that's more power to him. That's that's a good, that's a great way to think about it. He has promised to give us a couple original things too. Oh really? Yes. So mm-hmm. it's not going to be just all the. So you're going to play some original tunes. Uh, I'll, I'll, there'll be a few surprises. Is that right? What uh, what are you working on? Can you give us? Any, you said a few surprises. That means you're not going to tell me what kind of song you're working on. Um, we've got. Do they involve um, trucks and rain and mama or whatever? No. David Allen Coe stuff. Uh, no, no. Although we do play that song a lot. <laughs> I um, bet. There, there's a we've got we're in we're in the very infantile stages of the record at the moment. Okay, you're putting one together. Uh, we're we're putting one together. Um, we we actually wrote a song the other night called "Poor White Trash." Okay. Um, and then we've got a song called uh, "Emily," which is about a woman or about a man who has you know been unfaithful to a woman and kind of the other side of the coin that you don't normally get to hear. You know, it's usually either coming from the woman where you know he cheated on me. Or, you know, coming from the man, well, you know, she cheated on me. Right. Now it's coming from the male. This is coming from the man, uh, I cheated on her. I cheated on her, and uh, I, I messed up. You know, so wow. it's like. Um, that's pretty good. I, I like I like playing games <laughs> yeah. when it comes to songwriting. Oh, and, that's cool. And, you know, that's right. cool. I'm talking here with uh, John Spicer of the John Spicer and the Fighting Side, along with Meredith Fike. We're talking about the Salem Community Theater f- annual fundraiser. It's coming up on Saturday, April 21st, 2018, at seven o'clock. Is when the show starts, you can start uh, showing up at six o'clock, and I do urge you to do that. Should be a really good time. We're going to come back talk a little bit more with uh, John and. Meredith, before we run out of time on today's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Do appreciate you watching on a Wabash Catch TV, and we'll be back very shortly.
When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Heritage Woods of Flora offers cozy private apartments and personalized service plans for active seniors. Our affordable, assisted lifestyle includes three meals every day, assistance with chores and medications, and a full calendar of social activities. At Heritage Woods, you can visit with friends, enjoy an evening of music, or play an afternoon of wee bowling, all without leaving your home. We even have a beauty shop in-house. For more information, stop by 1003 West 4th Street or call Valerie at 618-662-4599. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. At least, at least the, I'd like to know the feeling anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I am Bruce Dickey. Joined alongside by John Spicer as well as Meredith Fike. We're talking all kinds of things. The uh, Salem Community Theater annual fundraiser uh, is the main thing we're talking about. It's this well, not this Saturday. Week from. A week from this Saturday. It's April 21st at 7 o'clock. John will be playing along with Ben Nation. Going to be playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, should be an outstanding show. I uh, urge you folks to go. Uh, Modern Woodman of America are the sponsors of it. If you like tickets, you can find them at the Salem box office. Meredith has them as well. Where else in Salem do you think you can find tickets? City Hall? City Hall and Salem Travel. City Hall and Salem Travel. If you'd like information, you can call the box office at uh, 790, is that 0789? I think that's 07. 740. See, I need my glasses. Yeah, you do. That's the, the and they can call me at 618 That is 740. All right, yeah. theater box office 740-0789 or call Meredith at 618-548-9797, right? 
Mm-hmm. All right. Did you get a phone number? That's easy to remember. Yeah, I mm-hmm. shouldn't have had to put my glasses on for that. <laughs> now you've made me put my glasses on and feel old. Nice. Uh, all right, Meredith. Each year, what an undertaking! You guys are putting on four shows a year at mm-hmm. Salem. How do you how do you go about choosing the shows here in the last couple of minutes? And you've already had the auditions for this first show, right? Yes, and the second one is coming up this this week. Next the auditions are coming up. Ne- next. It's a musical, so it has a longer rehearsal period. Oh, I see. So they have theirs coming up. Um, directors, you have to have a director who wants to do a show, and that's the thing for any community theater. They have to have their directors. So we have a director that wanted to do just desserts. Greg Randolph wants to do that, and next to normal was um, Drew Johnson's idea. This is an interesting uh, musical about really? mental illness. I was going to say, I, I, I was kind of thinking that was probably about autism or something it's, like it's that. It's mental illness and suicide. Uh-huh. And it's... Um, and a musical. It's a musical. There are new kinds of musicals and old kinds of musicals. Yeah, the new this ones, is a new kind. The new ones like Fun Home deals with gay and all that. And like this rent. one, And they say this one, it's, it's a Pulitzer Prize winning play, mm-hmm. musical. And they say you come out thinking entirely differently about mental illness. Is that right? It's it's an education. Then we're doing nine to five, which is known to everybody. Mm-hmm. And then we are doing Francine's will, which is again about I don't know why we do these things about funerals and wills. I have no idea, but it's a comedy. <laughs> so well, we had directors to, darkly comic. To answer your question, we had directors for all four shows. Is nine to five the? Is that the musical, the musical. version of it? Yes. Okay, I thought it says so. nine to five the musical. I do believe, but uh, is there in, in in theater? And forgive my ignorance, because like I said, this is your world and not mine. But in 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 music, when you have a guy, you know, say I, I cover a Merle Haggard song. Or I go and I play someone else's song. Do directors take other people's plays and put their own spin on them, or do they, you know? It depends on the talent you have on the show, uh-huh. and and probably whether not, the director's done it before. Yeah, probably you know, not typically with the material itself, but they make their own spin with the with the set and the use and that yeah. kind of okay, thing. Okay, so it's that form of yeah, yeah, yeah. In my, and I, I generally and some of wrong. them come with definite direction, stage direction, and everything. If you do a Rodgers and Hammerstein show, it becomes it comes pretty. It's pretty strict. Like, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whereas you can, uh, yeah. like Death of a Salesman or something, yeah. you can do all kinds of different right. ways. And, and in addition to doing these four shows, which is our our community theater, one of our missions is to let the schools use it free. So they do. And the high school, Salem High School, has a spring musical. They just did Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, nice. Which was unbelievable. Really? So good. Uh, I saw it five times out of seven. Oh, that's was that cool. Good? Was that good? That's and very they good. do a fall play. And then if the junior highs and whatever want to do a, a show there, they all use it free. Oh, well, how about that? Because, so fantastic. yeah, they don't have any auditorium. You know, Salem High School has two gymnasiums yeah. and no auditorium. I, well, Salem so, High School is not getting any younger either. Consequently, what happens out of that is these kids become very dedicated to the theater. Their drama department has quadrupled. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. And, you know, you got hair, you got lights, you got spot people, you know, all that. And they then become a liaison on our board. Right. And they help us that way. So we get young people in, you know, not all of the people on the board are old like me. (laughs) Some of them are, though, right? Yes. (laughs) I am the only existing original board member from. Are you really? Yes. No kidding. Congratulations. Yeah, I know. I'm still being alive. I know. And every now and then they want to get rid of me because I say, no, we didn't do it that way, you know. So. Well, you see, now that, that that is the thing, though, because it, it's a very forward-thinking uh, theater group to me to be putting this on these four people. shows. <laughs> well, those are younger directors, yeah. I see. Yeah. Uh, what the, what other shows have you put up in the past that uh, have been that uh, oh, forward-thinking? Let's see. We have uh, just name a couple because we got to get here. out of here. But. I'm trying to think of ones. Oh, we did. Um, oh, Spelling Bee. Oh, really? And that was had a few words in it. People didn't like it. It was a very interesting show. We did um, the last five years. Uh-huh. Uh, I can't remember the name of the... But those are all newer yeah. musicals, you know. Would you ever uh, do... Um, I did, easy question, would they do Book of Mormon or something? That's got a lot of bad words. You can't really do that in Salem, can you? You can't do that in Fairfield. You can't do that in Florida. I, can't, I would assume you couldn't do that in Salem. It's a hair, family theater. Hair, Book of Mormon. You're not going to do hair. Hair because there's uh, half the show's naked Spring people. Awakening. No, no. Mm-mm. Springtime for Hitler. That's, that's, uh. that's <laughs> another one. Yeah. 
I, I don't know. <laughs> that's a yeah. joke, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's a to, joke. You have to really uh, pick your... Well, I tell you what, it's uh, it's outstanding that you folks have that. And folks, you do need to support local community theater, that's for certain. We're, uh, the annual fundraiser, again, is April 21st at 7 o'clock. It's a week from Saturday. Get your tickets at the box office in Salem or also available at uh, Get Old of Meredith. At, Salem uh, Travel, too. And Salem Travel. City Hall. City Hall, all kinds of different pl- places. Thanks, guys, for coming on. Really Thank do appreciate it. Us. You bet. Good luck to you. Have a great one. That's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Talk to you all real soon.